Seagate have released a whole new lineup of hard drives and SSHDs with their Barracuda, Firecuda and Iron Wolf series of drives. And today I'm going to put them to the test and see if they're hitting the market hard or if they're hitting a gate. Welcome back to Tech City and this is the Yes Man Brian coming to you guys today with a look at three different drives. First is the drive that I put in my personal rig in both a RAID 1 and RAID 0 setup. These are the new lineup of Barracuda drives that come in different size variations going from 500 gigabytes to 4 terabytes and the 7200 RPM drives. They also have a two year warranty though there is also the Pro lineup however that boasts an impressive five year warranty and has larger sizes available up to 10 terabytes though these are a little bit more costly. However, the three terabyte drives that I purchased from Umart came in at around 130 AUD each, which would be about 95 USD. I believe they're even cheaper in the US, however, coming in at 90 USD flat. In RAID 0, the performance was very impressive, scoring both over 300 megabytes read and writes per second, and the consistency of these read and writes never had any noticeable dips. And this was across a huge 50 gigabyte random stress test. So what about the boot times? Loading games and frame times may you ask? Well it took one of these drives roughly 48 seconds to boot from a cold boot and comparing that to the SSHD after 3 runs that scored 41 seconds and Intel NVMe SSDs I have here in RAID 0 they scored a mere 12 seconds. Gaming load times were also a very similar scenario where the Barracuda scored similar to the Firecuda on their first attempts having load times of roughly 20 seconds and then map load times of roughly 21 seconds. Though the SSHD was extremely impressive on the second run. It loaded up the initial game in 5 seconds and the map in almost the same time as the NVMe SSDs at 1 second. And when testing game frame times on Dota 2, the Barracuda and also SSHD scored ever so slightly better than the Intel RAID drives. Though this is a test with some variants involved, but it does go to show that these drives will not hamper your gaming in any way, shape or form. Though the next drive we have up here is my favorite out of the bunch. This is the Firecuda 2TB SSHD. You can get these in both 1 or 2TB flavors and they also have a 2.5 inch variant available for laptops. Though when I was looking at the price, this drive comes in at roughly 150 Aussie dollars or 103 US dollars in the States and comes with a 5 year warranty. 5 years? 5 years? 5 years? five years. Which is huge for a drive that features 8GB of MLC SSD caching portion and also has 7200 RPM of 2TB storage on board. This drive as mentioned before performed really well when loading up games after the second load. So Seagate's claims that this SSHD has new learning algorithms that help with performance seem to be quite true. Though cold boots were still quite slow even after the third turn of trying. However, performance like the Barracudas was really consistent in both read and writes, so this drive, just like the previous, gets the nod of approval. And lastly in the lineup is their Iron Wolf Pro and Non Pro variants. These are drives that come in flavors ranging from 1 terabyte all the way up to 10 terabytes. And now these drives include a 5 year warranty and are rated for 300 terabytes per year of writes which is incredibly large. When doing the test on these 7200 RPM drives, these drives performed better even than the Barracudas and scored over 200 megabytes per second read and writes even in RAID 1 configuration across, again, a 50 gigabyte random file stress test. And the consistency of these read and writes were, again, very good. An interesting point was that the 4K random read and writes were also quite high for that of a hard drive, which would indicate that these drives are designed for constant writes which will not only serve perfectly as a NAS solution, but will also be great for security solutions where consistent writes are a must over RAID 1 arrays. You also get rotational vibration sensors on board, which help eliminate errors from vibration. And on that note, the drives are more shock resistant to vibrations than other hard drives. I already tested this feature out in the recent QNAP NAS solution review that I did. You can check out this video up here which I found that the RV sensors managed to work phenomenally well. The Iron Wolf Pro drives also for some weird reason look very slick and simple. 
I really like the look of these drives. And lastly, with the Ironwolf Pro drives, you get the ability to connect up to 16 drives in array configuration. And also with the non-Pro versions, you only get the ability to connect up to eight drives, which is still plenty. There is also only a three year warranty on the non-Pro versions of the drives. However, if you do get the Pro variants of the drives, there's also an additional two year Seagate data recovery service included and they have included their own health management software too. So in conclusion, all the drives I had up here on the test bench today performed really well. The read and writes were so consistent that I can recommend pretty much all these drives for their intended markets. I think if you're on a budget, the Barracuda offers really good price performance. You can put all your games on there, put your OS on there, and you'll still have a decent experience in terms of load times. If you've got a little bit more money and you want a bit more warranty, then the Firecuda Pro would be my personal pick. You get two terabytes, and you get it for a pretty good price and you get a massive five year warranty. And then you've got the Iron Wolf Pros, which are intended for the prosumer market or the business segment with offering great speeds and also very reliable performance. Although it does cost a bit more than the other variants I've mentioned here today. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below, what do you think of Seagate's new lineup of hard drives? I personally am pretty impressed with them all and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon Peace out for now. Bye.